Well, this, is, uh, 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 this will be the largest registry ever on DCB for coronary applications. So I was really proud to present here the late break in, as a late breaking trial session uh, the interim analysis of the first 1,000 patients which were enrolled. The study is a multi-center international study across 30 to 35 centers from Europe and Asia on the use of this novel serial muscular balloon, uh, uh, which is a magic touch. We will include patients with any type of coronary lesions, including instant restenosis, small vessel disease, side branch bifurcation, and whatever. The aim of this study is to prove the feasibility, the safety, and the long-term efficacy of this device. Interim was very good because we had uh, a limited population with a one-month follow-up, 650 patients, but out of this population there were very low clinical events. So no safety signals at a short-term follow-up and uh, very good efficacy. We also have a limited population uh, of 207 patients with a 12 months follow-up. And here quite the same, the primary endpoint is low. We have a 2.4 rate of target lesion revascularization and uh, all of the other elements of the MACE uh, component are okay. So we can say that despite that all of these events were not yet adjudicated, uh, the, the preliminary signals are very good with this device. This is a very interesting device. So we started studying it since the very beginning, uh, three years ago when it obtained the C mark. Uh, we did the Fasico and the Fasico native study. And then we wanted to test it uh, in a broader study, which is the Eastbourne. And uh, the results of this, the preliminary results of this study are come in a very important uh, time for DCBs because there are some signals uh, of uh, uh, lower safety at the long term for peripheral DCB uh, and uh, uh, paclitaxel accelerating devices. So the, this new concept uh, comes in the, in the right moment. Apart from the first, uh, the primary endpoint, which is TLR at 12 months, we wanted also to see if there were some safety signals in terms of myocardial infarction, death, and cardiovascular death. And I have to tell you that uh, from the elements that we have right now, there were no signals of increase of these, of these elements, of these safety signals. The next step is to, will be to complete the enrollment soon. Uh, to this day, we have enrolled 1,200 patients, more than 1,200 patients. We will have to reach the goal of 2,000 patients and hopefully we will achieve that within uh, eight to nine months. And then we will stop the enrollment and go uh, for the primary endpoint.